On your desktop, click Start Menu. Then click Control Panel. Click Network Connections icon. Then, double click Local Area Connection 4. Click Properties button. Click Internet Protocol TCP slash IP. Click Properties button. Choose Obtain an IP address automatically. And choose Obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK button. Click OK button. Click Support tab button. Click Details button. Copy the physical address and default gateway value. Click Close button. Click Close button. Close all open windows. Open any Internet browser, for example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar, type 192.168.1.1. Click Operation Mode. In Operation Mode, you have three options to select. Select Wireless ISP. Then, click Apply Change button. Wait until the applying changes was complete. Click Wireless. Click Site Survey. Click Site Survey button. After you click the Site Survey button, you will see the available wireless network. Select the Wi Fi connection that you want to repeat. Let's try CDR King 1. Click Next button. In pre-shared key, type the current password of your existing Wi-Fi connection. Click Connect button. Wait until the connection was successful. Click OK button. Click Basic Settings. Change the SSID or your Wi-Fi name. You can customize your SSID in any form. This will represent as the name of your Wi-Fi. In encryption menu, you have four options to select. Select WPA2. In pre-shared key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password, minimum of 8, maximum of 64, in any order of alphanumeric. Then, click Apply Changes button. Click Back button. Click System S Status. If DHCP is displayed and has WAN IP, this means that you are now connected to the Internet. To check if you have access on the Internet, try to open any Internet browser and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 